babies, welcome back to another video. We are in my kitchen today because we are going to be making some homemade granola bars. My son's favorite, my favorite, my mom's favorite. They're just really good and first of all, if you are new to my channel, I am on a weight loss journey. I have lost a total of 71 pounds so far. So I'm going to be showing you a recipe that has worked for me and they're also healthy. They're all homemade. They have really good ingredients in them and that's what I'm going to be showing you today because I'm showing you guys things on my channel that have been working for me to lose the amount of weight that I've lost and this is one thing that I enjoy to eat for like a nice sweet treat. So I know some granola bars can be high in sugar and not the healthiest. My husband wanted me to buy these for him so we have some Quaker Chewy Chocolate Chip Bars. So these ones I would say are not the healthiest for you but I used to love them when I wasn't vegan because they were just so good and unhealthy. So, I mean, they're not like bad for you, but they're still not the best. Then you have like a Cliff Bar, which I think is like a granola bar. This is definitely healthier for you, um, but a lot of protein bars can have a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs, and some of them can have a ton of protein, a ton of fiber. So I really love these for after a workout, but now that I know how to make my own granola bars, I like to eat mine. Now this was the you know batch I made last time and I accidentally made them a little too thick, but my son and I and my mom, we still love them, so don't worry about it if you make them a little too thick. So this is what these ones look like. In the bag, it doesn't look too good. You'll see them at the end when I cut them and they'll look all pretty. But I like to put you know pumpkin seeds and chia seeds and flax um, walnuts, like you can put in a lot of nutrient dense food to get into your system in one serving. So that is what I've been trying to do and since having my son I've been really trying my hardest to have him eat really like nutrient food because I've struggled with my weight, I'm on a weight loss journey, 71 pounds down you guys and I don't want him to be dealing with weight. I don't want him to struggle, I don't want him to have to go through what I've been through all these years so I am trying right now as a little baby boy to have him eat the healthiest that he can but don't get me wrong he still loves his juice boxes here and there but when I can give him a nutrient dense granola bar that he really likes that's a win for me. So definitely try this granola bar out with your children because they might like it. So if you guys see right here, I've mealed prep in the past but never really stuck with it. So I am trying it again because I feel like I'm in a different mindset. I feel like it's time to reach these goals even further than I've already like got to. So right here I have three days worth of food. I have my breakfast which I will make every single morning. I like to have yogurt. And then this is for my second meal. My third meal is going to be a protein shake so I can make that right away. I don't have to keep that pre-made. I have my fourth meal and then I have my fifth meal. So I'm going to be trying this out. So that's why these are right here. I just wanted to quickly show you guys. If you see a bunch of stuff in the background, we've been trying to shop at BJ's more. Through this quarantine, we haven't been wanting to leave the house. And when we do, my son does stay home. We make sure to wear our masks and our gloves and we take really high precautions because it is a scary world out there, but we like to try to buy in bulk now just so we don't have to leave the house as much. So there's that if you see a bunch of stuff back there. Um, and as I mean in bulk, we went to Walmart and I got this really big thing of oats. So this will last me a little bit. So let me show you guys what we're going to need for the granola bar. So what you will need are whole fresh medjool dates. You can get them pitted, but I find when you get the ones that are pitted, sometimes they can be a little dry. I like to pit them myself just because I feel like they're a little bit softer instead of being drier from already being cut open. So taking that little extra step, I don't know, I feel like it is worth it. You will also need some maple syrup. Now I normally buy light maple syrup, but at Walmart they only had original, so I got this big one of original, which will make it taste even sweeter, which my son won't mind. He'll like that. He loves maple syrup, which is why I buy the light one, because my baby, he loves his sweets. So I got to make sure, you know, I modify that a little bit. So light syrup instead of regular. So he'll definitely love this. I also add unsweetened shredded coconut. Oh my god, I can just eat this out of the bag. It's so good. I put this on my son and my yogurt in the morning. Really, really good. 
We have shelled and unsalted pumpkin seeds. These are really nice for protein. We also have some walnuts right here. Now I thought, let me save myself some time and buy the chopped walnuts already because last time I bought whole walnuts and I needed to chop them myself. These are already pre-chopped so I can just measure them and throw them into the mixture. You could use any nut you wanted to, almonds, walnuts, pecans, whatever you wanted, but I like to use walnuts. You will also need a peanut butter. I am just using the Wellesley Farms Organic Creamy Peanut Butter, and this only has dried roasted peanuts and sea salt, so it's really natural and tastes like peanuts. Don't get me wrong, I love my Skippy and my Jif peanut butter, but they're not the healthiest, so we're making moderations. And my son absolutely loves that too. He don't even know the difference. He also tried craisins for the first time like a couple days ago. So I wanted to add these into the granola bars because I think he would really love them. He loves raisins. And then when he tried these, he couldn't get enough of them. So I'm definitely going to add a bunch of these into there too. That's the fun thing about making your own granola bars is that let's say your child likes raisins. Add raisins. Do they like craisins? Add those. You could put chocolate chips. You could put whatever you wanted into your granola bars. So that is just the nice part about making something from scratch. You can modify what you put in, how much sugar, how much this, how much that. So we are going to be putting craisins in these for the first time. You will also need oats. I got this big thing of old fashioned oats, 100% whole grain, and it's just the Walmart great value brand. It was super cheap. Now, don't get the instant ones. I am actually using the old-fashioned instead of instant because we're going to be baking them. So just get this, okay? So we are going to get started, and I'm going to show you guys how I make it. We're going to talk and all that good stuff. I also forgot you are going to need some ground cinnamon. You could use um, vanilla extract, but I actually really like the way almond is, so I use almond extract. It just smells really good, and I like it and also a little bit of salt. So the only real thing that you're getting pure sugar from is just the maple syrup, which you could buy light maple syrup or sugar-free. It would still work the same way. It's kind of like a binding agent. So let's get started into making this granola. You're gonna need a bowl. Let's get a big bowl. And you're also gonna wanna preheat your oven to like 350. All right. So I'm just going to pit my dates because I'm also putting the craisins, but I like to put chunks of dates because my son loves dates. And I'm going to put those into there as well. Like I said, you guys can really just make this your own. But, you know, let's talk a little bit. I mentioned the diet bet that I joined, and I literally have 48 hours. By the time you see this, it's probably going to be 24 hours to enter my weight, and I'm about one pound off. So I have to get on my bike after filming this video so I can like really burn some calories so I can try to reach my goal because like I mentioned, it's really cool that you have all these people to motivate you but you're also putting money into it and I want my money back, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to like waste my $40 because I didn't reach my goal. But the thing is, I've been working out with my dad like every single day. We've been lifting I feel like I'm out of breath just because I've been working out so much today. I already rode the bike for 40 minutes, worked out with my dad, lifted heavy weights. So I've been working out with him and we've been lifting heavy weights. And as a lot of you probably know, muscle weighs more than fat. And curl. my arm muscles, they're, they're showing. So clearly that weighs a little bit. But I wish I was losing weight quicker. I know that we all kind of like plateau a little bit, and it's fine <laughs> during a diet bet. Like, I don't want to plateau during a diet bet. If you're looking to be motivated, definitely join a diet bet because you're putting money into it. And plus, if you're in a very supportive group, it's really fun and awesome. And plus, you can win prizes. Two people in this diet bet won a Peloton bike, which I wish I won because I've been wanting a Peloton bike so bad. But they have really amazing prizes. So I chopped up my dates. I think I'm going to put about this much in. Maybe I'll put like two more just because my son likes them. And I got these dates at Walmart and they were around like six bucks. So this is what they look like. My grandmother said they were like the best dates she's ever tried. I took some pictures tonight and if you want to go check them out, they're on my Instagram, Italian Diva 13 I'm just putting like a couple handfuls. 
And I posted a picture of me in a green dress sitting on a rock. So if I post some more pictures before this goes up, it's the green dress on the rock. And I was able to sit with my leg up and I never used to be able to sit like that before because like I always had this big stomach in the way and it was uncomfortable. Just like I never used to be able to cross my leg and now I can. So that was a big accomplishment for me. So now that I got my dates and my craisins in here, now I'm gonna come in with my walnuts. So me being able to lift my leg up on the rock was a huge accomplishment just because back in the day, I was never able to do that. I was always the heavier girl when my friends were all like thin, they had really nice bodies and they could eat what they wanted and I would eat a brownie and honestly gain five pounds from one brownie. I'd gain weight looking at the brownie. So it was a really big accomplishment for me and I'm very proud of myself. And just like looking at pictures of myself now, it's such a huge change. And I'm not even where I wanna be yet and I can only imagine like when I have that Daniel and Bailey body and I'm looking back at my before picture, I, I just can't wait. Now that's gonna be like the icing on the cake for me. So I'm very excited. And these right here are so nutrient packed. They're good for you and they're good for your weight loss journey if you're on one or for healthy eating. So for the dates, I just put like a handful of dates, cut them up, it's really your preference. For the craisins, I put about three good sized handfuls. For the walnuts, I did about a cup. I'm going to be putting about a cup of pumpkin seeds just because they're really good in protein and I love pumpkin seeds. And I bought these at my local stop and shop and I'm just gonna put a cup in as well, so. Now it's starting to look like this. For my chia and flax, I'm gonna put like half a cup. And this is really good for the omega-3s and fiber. So you can buy these at your grocery store. You put them in the fridge after you open them and they're just really good. You can get the hemp seeds one, which are also good in protein. These you can mix into smoothies, sauces, sweets, and more. You really don't taste it. Like when I want my son to have a little bit more like omegas and fibers I will sprinkle this over like his food he doesn't even know the difference and I know that he's getting that good blend of flax and chia into his system so I did half a cup of that I'm gonna probably do a whole cup of coconut shreds just because I love the taste of coconut but this is really all to your preference I'm just giving you guys like the ingredients and then you guys can like make it your own because that's what I like to do I like to just try things out and then really just work on making it different. So I'm gonna do a cup of coconut because we love coconut in this house. And you're gonna wanna use two cups of oats. So I'm gonna add those in right now. I like to kind of overflow it a little bit so maybe not a full cup, make a little over a cup. I'm gonna do about two cups and a half because I put extra of the other stuff. Now we are going to add in our cinnamon. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is just ground cinnamon, maybe just a tad more. I like to just play around. Ever since I was a child, I always used to love to make concoctions and play and mix things together. So when I'm cooking now that I'm older, I like to just go with the flow. I watch a ton of Food Network. This is a teaspoon, so I'm gonna put about two and a half teaspoons of the almond extract like so. I just love to play around, especially like when I watch guys grocery games and they make things from scratch. It's like, oh, I could do that. Let me go play in my kitchen now. And something about the way this almond extract smells, it smells like maraschino cherries in a way. I don't know. I know it's almond, but it smells like maraschino cherries. Now we're gonna wanna add in a little bit of salt. I'd say just like a sprinkle. And now we are going to come in with our binder. So because I went in a little extra on my ingredients, I might have to do a little bit of extra of this, but I'm gonna first come in with a half a cup of the maple syrup. How do you guys say it? Do you guys say syrup or syrup? I say syrup, but I know my mom says syrup. I say syrup. <laughs> She's behind the camera laughing. My grandmother says syrup too. I remember like they went up, they went to breakfast and my grandmother said syrup and my mom's like syrup. It's syrup. <laughs> so I say syrup. I like the way it sounds better. And when you buy a natural peanut butter, look how loose this is. Like it's a loose peanut butter. So I'm literally just going to pour like half a cup. 
And then we're gonna mix this together, and if you, look at how nice that came out. And then if we need to add more maple syrup or a little bit more peanut butter, then we will. And you really just wanna make sure that you are incorporating this really well so everything sticks together when you put it in your pan. My mom is gonna hand me the glass tray. I'm using this one. Now my problem last time, the reason why my granola bars were so thick, I didn't like that, but it is what it is. It was just a thick granola bar, was because I used a smaller pan. So I'm gonna be using this bigger pan and really pressing them down nice and flat so they're smaller. I don't mind a thick granola bar, but I don't want my son to like take too big of a bite. I know he's gonna be too, but I still cut his food up very, very small. So he's my baby. I gotta make sure he's okay and doesn't take a big bite. I might need to add in a little bit more maple syrup. Syrup. But it is combining really well together. You guys can see all that good goodness in there. If you guys like these videos or like I show you little recipes or cook with me's, definitely let me know because I will definitely make more, especially on this journey. Like I know how hard it is. And if you're out there struggling like I have, you like to be able to watch a video where you can get ideas and healthy little recipes. So hopefully you get that from this video. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna eyeball it. You guys watch it and then you'll know how much to add, okay? We're gonna do whoop. Okay, maybe about one fourth of a cup. I'm not sure. I'm pretending I'm on guys' grocery games right now. I added one fourth of a cup. I don't wanna add in any more peanut butter, I don't think. Sometimes the peanut butter can be a little overpowering. You guys could add in dried cherries, um, dried mango, whatever dried fruit you want. We just like dates and craisins and raisins. You could add blueberries, I guess. I don't really know how you do that since it's like fresh fruit. I'm gonna have to make one with the vegan chocolate chips. I use the Enjoy Life. I know they're still chocolate chips, so they're not the healthiest, but sometimes you need that treat. All right, so I got this all mixed up. This is what it looks like right now. So I have to take a little bit of vegan butter just to put in the bottom of my pan because I do not have parchment paper. Now, if you have parchment paper, it would save you a little bit less of a mess, but since I don't, I'm gonna be using my Earth Balance Organic Vegan Butter. It's my favorite one, so that's what we're gonna be using to butter our pan. So I'm just gonna take a napkin, kind of like when I made my blueberry muffins. You just wanna take a little napkin. You don't wanna take too much butter. This is not a muffin. We're making granola bars. They're supposed to be on the healthier side. And you're just gonna wanna put a thin layer on the bottom and the sides of your dish just so nothing sticks. Cause you don't wanna go through all this work making granola bars and then all of a sudden they're done and they're stuck to the bottom of the pan. All right, so we buttered our dish and you're gonna wanna come in and pour your granola bar. I have some homemade granola in my mason jar and I made this pretty much the same way, but instead of using the peanut butter, I use dates and maple syrup but I would probably do the same exact thing I did here with the peanut butter and this syrup instead of using the dates and just add chunks of dates in here and I think it would be really good. I love to put this on me and my son's yogurt or also you can use this as like a cereal. You pour this in your bowl, put a little bit of almond milk on top and then top it with some fresh fruit. So good, but we love having fresh granola. So I definitely am gonna have to make a batch of this in granola form. All right, so I moved my dish over here and I'm just going to add in our mixture. So now I'm just gonna use my hands, my hands are washed and I'm gonna press it down so it is really like pressed down so they're not super thick. And you can wet your hands a little bit so the granola doesn't stick too much to your hands. So you guys, I decided that my granola bars were looking a little too thick again, only because I kind of change up the recipe every time I make them. I add a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. So they were looking a little too thick, so I grabbed this little baking dish as well and put the other amount of the mixture in so I can get some smaller, thinner granola bars. So I'm just doing the same exact thing. I just took them out, and now I'm making sure that this is all nice and flat and press down, sorry if you can hear my monitor beeping, it always is dying. 
even though I charge it, I don't know, I think it's just the monitor. All right, so that side's pressed down. Now I'm going to press down this side. I'm gonna wet my fingers one more time. So now we're going to put it in our oven, which is already preheated to 350. I'm gonna put it in for about 30 to 35 minutes and check it. You wanna make sure that the top and the edges are all golden brown, and then you know that it is done. If it isn't, always put it in for a little longer. If it's getting a little bit more golden brown uh, before the timer is up, then just check it. But that is what you're gonna to wanna to see. Golden brown edges. So I'm going to add both of our little granola bars into the oven right now. All right, so now I'm gonna clean up my little area for the 35 minutes. I'm gonna get my booty on the bike. I might even put a trash bag on so I can sweat even more and get that like body pumping, sweating, sweating. I have a little waist belt where I can wear, but it's too big for me now. It was too tight for me when I first got it and now it's too big for me. So you know what? We got trash bags and it's the same exact thing. You just wanna sweat. I'm gonna put one of those on as a shirt tuck it in my pants and put my shirt back on and get on the bike. So let me clean up so I can go do that and we will check back in in like around 30 to 35 minutes. For you, it will be the next clip. Hi you guys. I'm really sweating now. I can't wait to take this trash bag off. I'm sweating and out of breath. I have about like another five minutes left. We took the granola out of the oven just so it could cool. So when you're making it, you wanna let it cool before you cut it so it's not like breaking apart everywhere. So yes, I will show you guys the granola once I'm done finishing up my workout. I still have the trash bag on and I'm not taking it off right now because I am too tired. I'm sweating, but I'm too tired to even take my shirt off, take the trash bag off. I'm just gonna wait until after this video before I hop in the shower, I'll take it all off. But this is what it looks like. You guys can see it's brown on the outside. It doesn't have much color on the top, but you don't want to burn it. So once it's brown on the outside, then you know. I'm just going to take like a little serrated sharp knife. And you want to let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20, 30 minutes, depending on what you're doing. If you're working out, or you're taking care of your babies, or you're on social media, whatever you're doing. You're just gonna wanna let it sit. I probably should let mine sit for a little bit longer, but I'm still gonna cut it anyways so you guys can see. So this one broke in half because they're still really, really warm, so they need to sit a little bit longer. But that's really all you do. You just cut them into the little granola bar shapes and you let it sit till it gets cool so then when you take it out, it doesn't break like this. But let's try a bite. That. It's better than the ones I made before. My son's gonna love that. So, let me finish chewing so I'm not chewing and pick them. So good. So I'm gonna let these sit and cool, maybe even overnight, just let them sit on the um, oven and then I will, well I'm gonna cut the other one, but I'm gonna let them sit so they can cool and then in the morning they'll be more firmer granola bars and not breaking apart because they're so warm. So if you want to see more videos like these, let me know in the comments below. And if you don't comment, I'll still make videos like this just to give you guys ideas because I love to try to make healthier options for things that I really love. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already to join the Diva Squad. If you try these granola bars out, tag me on Instagram and let me know how you guys liked them. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!